Hello dear students, uh, dear colleagues, welcome back to BFM Anglais lesson number 9, your English program on YouTube with very easy and understandable English. Uh, I am Mr. Ngom and today I am your coach to help you. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, it is the occasion to hit you know, the subscribe button. So, models, characteristics, lesson number five, examples and exercises. This lesson will be divided into two videos. Video number one will be about the characteristics of models. And video number two, lesson 10, will be about the functions of models. Okay. Uh, in this video number one, models, characteristics, and exercises. First of all, here are examples of models: can, could, may, might, must, will, would, shall should, ought to, among others, need, dare, have to. Uh, in this section, we will see the characteristics of models. First of all, models are auxiliaries. Auxiliaries are helping, helping verbs, verbs that help other verbs. Example one, cannot here helps be. It cannot be true. It cannot be true. Attention à cannot. Cannot en un seul mot. On peut dire must plus loin, not. Will plus loin, not. Shall, not. May, not. Could, not. But you can say can, not. Cannot en un seul mot, one word, or can't. So, it can't be true. Number two, modu will help us. Will helps help. I could score more. Could helps the verb score. They must pay. Must here is the auxiliary of pay. Number five, it may rain. May is the auxiliary of the verb rain. So, models, first of all, are auxiliaries. Characteristic number one. Uh, models, sorry, models do not have all tenses, forms. Meaning, you cannot put the models in all the tenses. It's impossible. For example, here, they will join us. Join in the future will join us. Number two, they have finished. Finish in the present perfect, have plus past participle. Number three, they are coming, present continuous, to be plus ing form. Now, look at number four. They will can is impossible. You cannot put the, the model can in the future, in this way, it's impossible. You cannot say, will can. Number five, they have must. It is impossible. You cannot conjugate must in the present perfect this way. It's impossible. Number six, they are mighting is impossible. So, might, may, must, all the models they do not have these tenses, simple, simple feature, present, uh, continuous, present perfect, simple conditional, past perfect, all the tenses, you know, you cannot put models in these tenses. So this is characteristic number one. You have to know this. It's important. Characteristic number two. Models don't need as auxiliaries. Models are auxiliaries they don't need as auxiliaries example let us see 
they don't come. So here, to come is formed with don't. They have stopped. Have is a helping verb of stop to form the present perfect. Do you understand? Interrogative form, we need do here to form understand. But look at the models. They don't can is impossible. Can, doesn't, need, don't. Number five, do you should is impossible. Should, does not need to in the interrogative form. Number six, they are mighting. Might, does not need, are. So models don't need auxiliaries in English. Uh, characteristic number three, No S at the third person singular in the simple present. In the simple present, she speaks English. Here you have S. Okay? Speaks English. Number two, Mr. Drame likes football. Here you have S at the third person singular. But look at the models. She cans is impossible. She cans is impossible. Don't put S at the end of the model, third person, singular. Models don't take S. Mr. Ja May's invite is impossible. It's a big mistake. Don't put S at the end of the model. So, no S at the third person, singular. Characteristic number four. Models don't have full infinitive form. Models don't have full infinitive form. You can say to talk, to clean, to understand, to believe, to go, to open, etc. But you cannot say to can. It's impossible. You cannot say to may, to must. No, it is impossible. So, no full infinitive form with models. It was characteristics number four. Number five, models don't have any ing form. So no ing form with models. Talking, cleaning, sleeping, drinking, running, revising, doing, painting, explaining, but don't say cunning. Don't say musting, maying. It's impossible. They don't have ing form. The last characteristics is number six. Models are always followed by the base form of the verb. Look, I can speak Chinese. After can, speak is base form. It may rain. After may, rain is base form. You can't say I can speak is impossible. I can speaking is impossible. I can spoke is impossible. I can spoken is impossible. I can speaking is impossible. Models are always followed by the base form of the verb. So number three. I can to speak is impossible. A big mistake. Number five, it may raining is impossible. So, big mistake. Is it okay, guys? So, let us recap what we have already seen with characteristic. Number six, models are always followed by base form. Agree? Number five, Models don't have any ing form. No ing form. Number four, models don't have full infinitive. No. Number three, you don't need to put s at the end of the third person singular of models. No. No s. Number two, models don't need as auxiliaries. 
in the negative form or interrogative form or in the perfect or continuous tenses, models don't need auxiliaries. Number one, models do not have all tenses forms. Simple pre uh, future, present continuous, present perfect, etc. Models don't have these forms in English. So, uh, in a nutshell, here are the characteristics of models. Now, let us check whether you have understood uh, the lesson. Section number two is exercises practice. Multiple choice questions. The president must a speech, must made a speech, must make a speech, or must to make a speech. Remember the six characteristics. Which one among A, B, C, or D is the correct one? Sure, it is C, must make. Why? Because the president must a speech has no meaning. Uh, models are auxiliaries or helping verbs, meaning they go with other verbs. So, must plus a verb. And B is impossible because models are always followed by the base form. So, here you have the past participle is impossible. And C is the best one. You have must plus base form, models plus base form. And D is impossible because you cannot have must plus full infinitive. So, the best answer is C. Number two. It may rain. Will may rain, may's rain, may to rain. Which one is the correct answer? Right, the correct answer here is may rain, may plus base form. B is false, will may is impossible, may in the future. C is false, you cannot have S with models and D is false because models are not followed by the full infinitive. Number three, the teacher should not postpone the test, should postponing the test, should not postpone the test, should postpone the test. Postpone means reporte. Um, Come on, A, B, C, or D, take your time. Yes, the right answer here is C. A is not good because should not, must not be followed by a past participle, model plus base form. B is impossible, ing form, model plus base form. C, you have postponed, is a base form, and should does not take S. So, C is the right answer. Number four, students ought to learning, must learning, shall learning, are learning. Come on. Models are never followed by ING form. Remember, characteristics number six models are always followed by base form and as you don't have base form here it will not be a model here it will be d or learning present continuous number five floods les inundations killed six people have killed will might has so here, you have killed past the participle, so it is impossible to have a model here because models are always followed with a base form. So it can't be will, it can't be might, maybe have or has. And as floods is plural, let us choose A, have killed six people. 
Number six. Interrogative form. Speak English fluently. Do you can? Will you can? Can you? Can you too? Hmm. So, do you can is impossible because you have do. Can doesn't need do. Will you can is impossible. Can doesn't need will. Uh, can you too? Can is not followed by to. So, the right answer here is C once again. Can you speak English fluently? Not like Mr. Ngom. Mr. Ngom is not speaking fluently. So, but you, can you? Remember, the principal goal of education is to create men who are capable of doing new things, not simply of repeating what other generations have done. Men who are creative and inventive. It's from Jean Piazzi, guys. No comment. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the videos, subscribe, and share with your friends and colleagues. Goodbye.